Yeah, man, let's do it. We in here? Everybody, Chicago, we in here kicking it. It's good to see everybody. We got everybody in here. Where the weed smokers at? Yeah, yeah. That need to be legal everywhere. I'm tired of this being illegal. That help people. Other drugs take too much on what happens. Die. Dead. Overdose. Who ever died from a weed overdose? When that shit ever happened? When they ever rushed somebody to the hospital like, he got too high, we need some Fruit Loops and Kool-Aid, stack. Get us a pepperoni pizza down here, I think we can save him. What are you talking about, man? You go to the emergency room after you smoke too much weed, see what they tell you. Go up to the nurse, say, hey, I smoked too much weed, I got too high, she gonna say, go sit your stupid ass down over there. Eat this cookie, we got real lives we trying to save. It's gonna be you and six other mother eating cookies in the corner looking stupid. Yeah. He gonna lean over, you gonna finish your cookie? Yes. Mother I'm trying to get well. I don't like how police pull you over. They don't even think about what's going on in your life. You don't know what I'm going through. They come up to the window, they just start talking at you aggressive and loud. You don't know what I'm going through. I'm high. You can't yell at me when I'm high. I can't think. When you yell at me, they come up, roll the window down right now, roll it down right now. I'm like, well, where is the window? Okay, hold on, wait a minute. Nope, that's not it, that's that one. Uh-oh, hold on. Wait a minute, hold on. I think I got the child locks on, I think, I don't know. You know what, I forgot, this one don't work. You gonna have to walk around here. Just stop yelling, walk around here. Come on this side. They just keep on yelling too. Cut the car off right now. I'm like, it is, but it's not gonna stop shaking for another 15 minutes. Just come around here. He gonna come around, he gonna say, are there, are there any drugs in the car? Not that I know of. <laughs> if you find something, that's gonna be news to me too. We can, we can split it if you want. Is there any drugs in the car? I was like, no, nah, there's no drugs in the car. He's like, I'm gonna need you to get out the car, so. You know, I get out the car, and then I notice he got one of the, the police cars with the K-9, it's the K-9 unit, and he go back and he get the dog. And first of all, I don't believe in drug dogs. I don't think that's a thing, okay? I refuse to believe that there's dogs out there that can sniff out all the different types of drugs all the time. Because if that was the case, I would have went to the shelter and adopted 12 dogs, I'd have a drug dog sled team that I just <laughs> take through the bad neighborhoods. Kush! Kush! We just gonna shout out whatever I'm looking for. Kush! What you got? What you got? Oh, that's heroin. Put it down. You're gonna be sleepy. Put it down. Come on. Put it down. He gonna get the drug dog out. And you know, he walked the dog around the car. He had it on the leash. Then he came around to the trunk. Then he looked at me. And he tapped on the trunk and the dog jumped up there. And he was like, the dog's telling me that it's drugs in the car. Like, what? <laughs> so I looked at him, then I looked at the dog, and I looked at the trunk. I tapped on the trunk, the dog jumped back up there. I was like, well, he told me, no, it's not. He made a mistake. You're not the only dog whisperer. He just told me he made a mistake. Let's get up here. Every dog know how to do that. There's more funny where that came from. Subscribe right here, right now, and you won't miss another laugh.